Sorry, I had to do it. The cheesy title was much needed because I want to talk about something very important in today's video, and that is everything that's wrong with YouTube automation and faceless YouTube channels. There's plenty of videos out there that expose the dark truth of this business model, and after spending multiple hours watching every single one of them, I can tell you that they're just bullshit. So here's how this all works. First, we need to understand what it is that we're talking about in the first place. A faceless YouTube channel is nothing else but a normal YouTube channel with no face attached. Faceless, no face. That's it. Everything else is irrelevant. To simplify this even further, with a faceless YouTube channel, you can do all the work yourself. You can do whatever you want as long as you don't show your face in front of the camera, as long as there is no face attached to the videos, you have a faceless YouTube channel. Thousands upon thousands of examples out there, like this one called The Reaches, that's talking about luxury stuff, watch Bojo making movie-related videos, or Brightside, which I'm sure you've seen before. Of course, there are multiple ways of running these channels and there are multiple ways of monetizing them that will get a little bit more complex. But for this video, I just wanted to state the definition and the difference between a faceless YouTube channel and a YouTube automation channel, so there you have it. Now, to decide if this business model works or not, we first need to define what does work mean. What is it that we're looking to get out of them for them to work? In my case, and in probably your case as well, that you want to use them as a business in the scope of generating money and the main way we can generate money with these types of channels is through adsense in something that we call the youtube partner program the youtube partner program simply pays channel owners money for the views that their channel is generating for the channels to work they need to make money but for the channels to make money they need to be in the partner program so now we've basically transformed our initial question of whether these channels do work or not whether this business model is possible or not to whether these channels do get views. Can they get views? Because if they can get views, they can make money. And if they can make money, well, they work. So let's go deeper now. But if a normal YouTube channel can work, meaning get views, do we believe that by removing the face from the videos, making the videos faceless, that will make the channel all of a sudden stop getting views, therefore stop working? Obviously, no. Now going even deeper, I previously said that a YouTube automation channel is nothing else but a normal YouTube channel where you outsource the work to other people. If a normal YouTube channel gets views and works, do we believe that just by changing the people who are creating the videos, who are creating the content, that will make the channel all of a sudden stop getting views and stop working? Once again, the answer is obvious, no. It doesn't matter if you do or you do not have a face to attach to your videos. It doesn't matter if you do make the content yourself or if you have some other people do it for you. You can still get views, you can still make money, it can still work. I'm tired of seeing all these people speaking all this nonsense about this business model, stating that those channels do work or they do not work or some of them work or something. Like, it's just as simple as that. If you follow the path chronologically, it makes logical sense and I don't believe anybody out here can argue with me. It doesn't matter if something has a face or it doesn't have a face attached to it, people will still watch it, it can still get views, therefore it can still make money. So with those things out of the way, I also want to discuss how do these channels actually look? Because I'm sure most of you have seen or heard about this business model, maybe on TikTok or on a short for a platform the first way. And what I usually see on those platforms is they talk about fireplace videos, rain sound videos, meditation videos, and those are actually faceless videos, but they're just bad examples because some of them cannot get monetized. Again, we won't go very deep in this business model. They still are those types of channels. They're just not the best ones. In an attempt to better inform you guys, I'm gonna put some examples of different actually good good faceless channels and faceless YouTube automation channels on the screen right now, but you can also watch mobile examples on other videos on my YouTube channel. But here's for example, how our car channel will look like. Here's how a sports channels will look like. Here's a luxury one, business one, economy one, celebrities one, movies one. And the possibilities are endless. Again, I have mobile videos on my channel that talk about how these channels can work and how these channels can not work. So I wanted to address it. Those channels do exist, but not all of them are a great business opportunity. And you want to make sure that you know the fine line between them. Also, I saw a lot of comments that it takes a lot of money to start a business model like this, which is entirely false. You can start with completely zero dollars if you are aware of the three different ways you can start and run these faceless YouTube channels. Method number one, which is what I recommend to all beginners out there, is the free method. In this free method, you basically do all the content yourself. You write a script yourself, you do the voiceover yourself, you do the video editing yourself, and you do the thumbnails yourself. And although there are four steps, they actually don't take that much time and you don't need to be a creative genius to do them. Well, the second method, which does indeed cost 
a little bit of money is where you outsource the work to other people. We call this the paid method and it's kind of is the YouTube automation method where instead of creating all the content yourself, you outsource the work to other people and you get them to do it for you. You delegate everything that has to do with the content creation and yes, it will cost you a little bit of money. You're looking maybe 40 to $60 per video that you want to upload. And the last one, which is probably my favorite, is the hybrid method. But you kind of combine these together and while you're doing some of the work yourself, you choose the ones that are good ones and you choose the ones that you like doing and you outsource others to other people. For example, if you're not a Native American and you don't like your voice or you don't like speaking in front of a microphone for hours and hours recording voiceovers, you might just pay somebody to do the voiceovers for you while you do the other work. This goes to show that you can start this business with zero dollars, you can speed it up and outsource it for it to take very little time with a paid method or you can make a combination and you can decide how much you want to pay, how much time you want to put in. The possibilities are once again endless, guys. With how early it is, it's undeniable that faceless YouTube channels and YouTube automation are the best business model that beginners can start to make money online, especially on YouTube in 2024. Another misconception that is out there is that people are saying that because the content is not 100% original, meaning we didn't create it, we didn't film it, that YouTube will not accept these channels into partner program, therefore they are not going to be able to monetize, which is false again. Even though not all the footage is 100% original, YouTube has no problem with that whatsoever. You can clearly see that YouTube states in their guideline that by adding significant value to the original footage, adding a narration, adding a script and adding commentary, you can definitely monetize those videos. But again, I guess the best example is that there are thousands and thousands of channels out there that are already doing this and many, many people are doing it out there already. Switching gears here a little bit, I see a lot of people who promote this as being a get rich quick scheme, copy paste videos, upload, re-upload and you get rich overnight. This is not something that you can get in, upload a couple of videos and make tens of thousands of dollars and retire and working from the beach. Not true. YouTube automation and faceless YouTube channels are a business model or a side hustle where you are required to put a little bit of time, a little bit of effort and even money if you chose to do so and speed up the process. And while it can definitely work, the chances of you seeing results tomorrow or maybe even next week are very minimal. However, I also want to mention something that not a lot of people are aware about and that is how high you can kind of take this business model. What's the end game? How much can you scale? How much money can you make? The biggest players in the game, the biggest people that are doing this are turning a portfolio of channels into a media company like this company called Volnet, for example. Let's take a look at their website. They say about themselves that they're the world's leading media investment company. And pretty much what do they do, guys? If you go here to publishing and our brands, you can see that they have some of the channels that I previously mentioned. The richest is one of the channels in their portfolio. They also have channels like Screen Rant, talking about movies, CBR, Game Rant, and multiple, multiple other brands. And I, can, I think they continue to acquire them. And the last time I checked with somebody that was working pretty close with them, they're making more than a million dollars per month in AdSense revenue alone. And that's just one of the revenue income streams that they have. So if you want to build a media company, if you want to go very, very big, then this is definitely how you can do it. If you want to have a career in media, you might as well consider starting a channel as well because it's still very, very early. Just wanted to show you guys that this can be scaled very, very far uh, and a lot of money can be made if you chose to do so. I can't stress this enough, but I genuinely believe that faceless YouTube channels are one of the best, if not the best, opportunity to make money online in 2024, especially for beginners who maybe want to make their first $10,000 per month or for people who want to create an additional stream of income, maybe making $2,000 a month, $3,000 per month while not putting a lot of effort. And one of the main reasons why I'm so bullish right now more than ever on this opportunity is because it's still very early. There are not a lot of channels out there, not a lot of people know about this business model or if they do know, they're not doing it right. One of the main reasons on why I'm so bullish on faceless channels in 2024 more than ever, although it's been almost three and a half years since I've been doing this, is that we have more proof than ever that it can work. But in the same time, the competition is so little. It's still very early. And if you see right now on the screen, this is on Google Trends. If we compare the search term of YouTube automation or faceless YouTube channels with dropshipping, for example, you can see where this is. If we compare it to Amazon FBA, you can see how much more room there is. If we compare it to SMMA, social media marketing, you can see that YouTube automation and faceless YouTube channels hasn't reached near the level of all these other business models. And if we factor in that not a lot of people know about it and it's still very early, then I think the best time is now. And it's going to be undeniable in a couple of months, maybe a couple of years. So I'm trying to get as many of you guys and help as many of you as possible. Start channels like that and start making money online because this is one of the best opportunities that I've seen in a while. Anyway, as always, guys, don't get fancy. Don't get cute. The work needs doing and good luck to you.